Invent Pyrotechnics is developing a series of short videos to help explain the most common codes for critical life safety circuits. In previous videos, we discussed NEC articles 695, 700, 708, and 728. You can find those videos linked in the description below. In this video, we will be discussing aspects of NEC article 760, Fire Alarm Systems. Article 760 is tied very closely to NFPA 72 and NFPA 70. Both cover the installation of wiring and equipment within fire alarm systems. Article 760 and NFPA 70 are lengthy and complex documents covering many important details. This video will focus on the fire survivability of the wiring that enables these systems to operate as specified in Article 760 and NFPA 72 and 70. Pyrotechnics fire alarm cables have been a trusted wiring solution for fire alarm systems all over the world. One of our best examples is the United States Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. There are more than five miles of pyrotechnics fire alarm wire inside this iconic landmark. Article 760 governs many important emergency systems that are required in a variety of buildings including hospital and healthcare facilities, high-rise and mixed-use buildings, government facilities and emergency response centers, stadiums, casinos, and places of assembly. The critical systems within these buildings that are governed by 760 include fire alarm and evac systems, smoke evacuation and control, fan and pressurization systems, emergency lighting, and others. NFPA 72 Chapter 12 discusses and defines electric pathways and classes of circuits governed by NEC Article 760. There are seven pathway classes which are defined and specified by their performance requirements. Class A is the most stringent pathway class and it has five critical must-have performance requirements. One, must include a redundant path. Two, have operational capability past a single open circuit. Three, conditions that affect intended operations are enunciated as a trouble signal. Four, Operational capability on metallic conductors is maintained during the application of a single ground fault. And five, a single ground fault condition on metallic conductors results in the enunciation of a trouble signal. The six additional classes are less stringent than Class A and do not require one or more of the five requirements of a Class A system. For exact details on each of these classes, please review NFPA 72, Chapter 12, Section 3. Pathway survivability in the event of fire is discussed in Article 760, Chapter 12, Section 4. It states that all pathways shall comply with NFPA 70 and then goes on to define four increasingly stringent pathway survivability levels. Level 0 pathways shall not be required to have any provision for pathway survivability. Level 1 pathways are fully protected by a sprinkler system in accordance with NFPA 13. Level 2 pathway survivability consists of one or more of the following a 2 hour fire rated circuit integrity, CI or fire resistive cable, 2 hour fire rated system such as pyrotechnic system 1850, a 2 hour fire rated enclosure or protected area, or a performance alternative approved by the local authority having jurisdiction. Level 3 is the most stringent since it requires both Level 1 sprinkler and Level 2 2-hour fire withstand wiring protection. When considering the different levels of pathway survivability for your project, it is critical to remember that when a fire situation is at its worst, is when life safety systems must be able to perform at their best for as long as required. Making sure that everyone, including first responders, is able to get out of a burning building safely is always the primary function of a life safety system. Choosing the highest level of appropriate protection is the best chance to do so, especially in the worst of conditions. For the remainder of this video, we will focus on Class A solutions with the level two or three pathway survivability requirements. Did you know that many factors must be considered when determining the proper class and pathway determination for each project? Determination ultimately resides with the local authority having jurisdiction. These factors include 
How long must the system's wiring survive in the event of fire? What areas of the building must be considered an evacuation zone that requires signaling? Will both emergency alarm and voice communication be required? Must the system support both relocation and or partial evacuation of occupants? Is it unacceptable for damage in one zone to affect system performance in other areas of the building? Did you know UL's Product IQ database contains all the information for each UL listed electrical circuit protective system, including proper installation requirements, to help ensure you have a complete system that meets Article 760? Once you have determined that you need a Class A Article 760 compliance solution with pathway, two or three level fire withstand, the next step is to find an approved wiring option. Again, the one place to go to understand the details is UL's Product IQ database. For system certification, Underwriters Laboratory assembles fire resistive cable systems exactly per each manufacturer's instructions and then tests the entire system to ANSI UL2196. This system testing consists of two hours of exposure to fire conditions followed by a hose stream test to simulate firefighter activity. Systems that meet UL2196 requirements are assigned their own FHIT number. For example, NVEN Pyrotechnic System 1850 is FHIT 1850. The UL site provides information for each listed fire resistive cable system regarding the proper installation requirements to maintain its fire rating. UL insists on a complete system listing. This ensures that no substitution of parts of a system can be made that would compromise the integrity and performance of the system in its entirety. Please review our video on Article 728 for more important details on system requirements. Pyrotenix MI solutions are specifically listed as Article 760 compliant options for achieving two-hour fire alarm wiring survivability protection. Many people in the industry know that Pyrotenix MI cables come in many sizes and configurations of power cable. In addition, it is also available in twisted pair shielded and non-shielded cables specifically engineered for fire alarm systems. Pyrotenix solutions have no vertical limitations. They do not have to be installed in conduit. They offer superior mechanical protection compared to other wiring options have approved splice options, require fewer supports, and are available factory pre-terminated for quick installation. We hope you found this video interesting and informative and that you now have a better understanding of Article 760 and NFPA 72 and how to design and specify effective and robust wiring solutions to support your fire alarm systems. To be notified when new videos become available, or for additional information regarding Invent Pyrotechnic System 1850 solutions, please find us on the web. Thank you for viewing, and remember, for life safety circuits, you have to be wired differently.